little bit. Today we'll be discussing the Godzilla fandom and oh my god. Yep. Just why just why sometimes? Okay. And we'll be discussing is the Godzilla fandom toxic? The short answer is um, yes and no. I do not think everybody in the Godzilla fandom is toxic. At least for me, because I haven't had any like toxicity from the Godzilla fandom. So, yeah. Maybe we joke around here. The only toxicity, I guess you can say, is that we joke around here and there, but that's not really toxicity. It's just like joking around. But that's about it. But to be fair, the one thing I do want to mention, I'm not going to mention this much. Uh, apparently, something happened with Lisa Goji Geek, and she had to step out of the community. This, I'm not gonna go into detail what happened, but apparently she has to go step out of the community. With I can understand because she was going to do some things inside the fandom. I'm not gonna go into details of what's going on. You can go check out Kaiju Kim's video on that, or Ali Winter, or plenty of other people who post a video like that. But to get the full details of what's going on with the Goji Geek. Right now, I'm just going to talk about is the fandom toxic, and the short answer is it is. It's very toxic. Sometimes I can't just stand the toxicity. Like one, if you're a fan of Godzilla: Final Wars, be prepared. You're going to get into the debate all the time, which I don't understand why. Like you would get toxicity all the time if you love that movie so that uh, you can see plus if you're hispanic like me you will get judged i don't know how to explain it you just get judged and if you are a female godzilla fan you'll be looked um You'd be worked in that, that way, which, yeah, I can kind of see. Like, you either have to hide yourself, like, okay, I'm not gonna say this. Uh, basically, you have to hide yourself from the Godzilla fandom. Yeah. Sorry about that. Sorry for the technical difficulties. My Wi-Fi is acting up a little bad. So, um, let me just present. Share. Yeah, sorry about that. No, I don't want to show this. Is up on my Wi Fi. Anyway, like I want to say, what I was saying before, before I got into it about my Wi Fi, um, because of fandom can, can be top. Well, my Wi Fi stopped acting up. <laughs> like I said, because of fandom can be toxic. Like, there are some toxicity inside the fandom. Like, you like believe it to be on. Not. Uh, 
really like to believe it too or not. There is toxicity inside the fandom. You will find it. You will find it or not. There's, but to be fair, there's toxicity in every fandom. No matter, remember what kind of fandom. Like I'm in the Fatal fandom and the anime community and the video game fandom and Marvel and Star Wars fandom. I'm in like couple fandoms. Yes. So I know, so I have my fair share of toxicity. But yeah, the toxicity in not just because of the fandoms and fandoms in general. Just, I don't get it. Can we just not be mean for once? Can we just be nice? But we can't get that. So yeah. So many people have to be so mean, so rude, interruptive. They gotta be like jerks and like get into arguments about some stupid shit, stupid stuff, which I just don't get. Why can you just stop? Just be nice for once. I don't understand the toxicity that happens in the fandom. Like, yeah. I mostly just try to stay away from that stuff. Like, like that stuff is like up here, and I'm like just swimming down here. <laughs> I'm just like pretending it's like an ocean, and I'm just like going to the bottom, just trying to swim away from that. <laughs> yeah, just going to the bottom of the ocean, just trying to swim away from that. Yeah, I'm not dealing with that toxicity in the fandom. Like. I try to stay far, far away from Tessie, and luckily, I haven't had any Tessie fans some that I know of try to come at me. So, yeah. So, yeah. Um, I just don't get the fan base sometimes. I just don't understand. Why? Ugh. Can we just stop being aggressive, please? For just like one second. One second, please. But that does it for me. I'm not gonna go. Ugh. Yeah. I'm gonna stop before I get myself a headache. I'm just talking about how dumb these fans are. Like, they legit, like, go after people and. They legit like go after people. Like I'm not gonna say I can't I'm not sure if I get away with that, but they uh S harass people they harass people, they make stupid arguments, they harass people, they they just do stupid stuff to go after people, especially people in the women side. But I just don't get it sometimes why do these people do things they do i guess i'll never understand because uh yeah because i always like look on the bite side of things and yeah so i'm lighthearted so yeah but with that said i'm gonna end it here before it gets way too long so this is already sent off and remember Stay big, G fans. Yeah, but something with that. I don't know. <laughs> Bye.